In this tutorial, I'll show you three ways to take screen prints in Windows 10. Let's assume that you are on a YouTube page on the desktop and would like to take a screen print of one of the tutorials. The easiest way to do it is the push print screen button right on your keyboard. And the most surprising thing is that nothing happens. But in fact, Windows 10 takes your screen print and puts it into the clipboard. Let's verify that. To do that, I open Microsoft Word application and I'm just going to click the paste button in Microsoft Word. And what you see happening, our screen print that we took from clipboard was pasted into the Microsoft Word. Now let's look at how you can take screen prints using Snipping Tool in Windows 10. To do that, you need to launch Snipping Tool. I launched it by starting typing uh, Snipping Tool in my Start menu and it launched Snipping Tool. Now all I need to do is click New. And once I click New, I need to drag and drop the area that I'd like to screen print. So for example, this is the tutorial. I'd like to uh, snip and I used snipping tool for that. I dragged and dropped the area and it opened the screen and also showed my selection that I took right in the snipping tool. What you can do now, you can also copy it to the clipboard, but you have more capabilities. For example, you can uh, save it. You can save it as JPEG or any other format supported by the tool. You can copy to clipboard, maybe edit in other applications, maybe highlight some of the things with basic highlighting. So that's snipping tool in Windows 10. And now let's look at the snip and sketch. I need to take screen prints in Windows 10 every day. Let me show you how to do it using the newest tool in Windows 10 called snip and sketch. Let's navigate to cnn.com and to launch snip and sketch, you need to press Windows Shift S. And then you see cursor changes its appearance and what you can do now, you can highlight the area of the screen that you're trying to select. And now, Windows puts this information into clipboard automatically. And what you can also do, you can edit this image that you just selected. And maybe you want to share something with colleagues. So you highlight this using the highlighter tool, for example. And you sketch around. Then you can put it into clipboard again by using Control C. And then let's say you need to paste it in Microsoft Word. You open blank document and use paste button to paste this information. And you see the sketcher and the highlighter I used remains in the image. You can make some additional editing is the tool as you wish. You can use maybe pencil, highlighter and pencil in different colors. It allows you to change the colors. We already looked at the highlighter. If you don't like something, you can erase it. This is an eraser. You can add a ruler and you can change the ruler to protractor as well. If you don't like any of those, you can just remove them or you can crop the image and make it smaller and remove some things that you don't want to show in the image. Maybe you want to point out just specific sections of the image and the picture that you're trying to share. And once you're done with editing, you can save the image on your drive in a lot of different formats, or you can copy it into clipboard and use in other applications. Very cool features of Snip and Sketch. Snip and Sketch is an extremely useful tool and definitely improves your productivity in Windows 10. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.